Medication therapy management is a term that has become increasingly well known since the passing of the Medicare Modernization Act of 2003. Pharmacists continue to be the leaders in providing MTM services, which according to the MMA are designed to enhance and the understanding of their medications, improve adherence, and detect adverse drug events and patterns of overuse and underuse related to their prescription medications. Various services fall under the definition of MTM, and each is important in optimizing patient care. One of the services that can be delivered as part of an MTM program is the Comprehensive Medication Review, or CMR. The CMR is an appointment-based review of a patient's prescription and over-the-counter medications by a pharmacist to identify medication-related issues or cost-saving opportunities. The focus of the CMR is medication safety, patient compliance, and cost reduction, as well as the creation of an updated master medication list. Issues identified during a CMR should be resolved collaboratively with the patient and or the patient's caregiver and the prescriber. In order to give you a better understanding of what is involved in the CMR, we will be discussing this service in three sections, preparation, delivery, and documentation. The first step is to identify your CMR targeted patients. This can be done in the outcomes system. Once you have your patient selected, the next step is to contact the patient and offer the CMR service. This contact could be made by phone call or could be done face to face at the patient's next visit to the pharmacy. Many of the highest performing MTM centers empower technicians to identify CMR eligible patients and assist in making a CMR offer. Any questions about this medication, Jim? No, I don't believe so. Thanks, Ann. Okay, but before you go, I'd like to help arrange your annual medication review. There's a review? It's covered by your insurance plan. There's no cost. It only takes about 30 minutes. Okay. I'll go over each medication in detail to help identify possible medication-related complications or opportunities for cost savings. <laughs> This sounds good. <laughs> it's also a chance for you to ask any additional questions on all your medications. At the end of the review, you'll receive an updated master medication list that you can take to future doctor's visits. Uh, I'm available on Tuesday or Thursday at 4 p.m. next week. Which of these times work best for you? Well, I think I'm free next Thursday, if you have any openings. But don't you already do this for me? When we fill your medications, we do screen the prescription for the appropriate dosing, as well as ensure that there are no drug interactions with any other meds on your profile. What's different about the medication review is that it gives you an opportunity to see how you're responding to the medications, as well as checking to see if you're experiencing any potential side effects from your meds. For the med review, be sure to bring in all your prescription medications, including any that you might not get filled here. That includes samples from your doctor, as well as over-the-counter meds. Bring in any herbals, vitamins, and supplements, too. We'll call you a day or so before to confirm the appointment. That works. I'll see you then. Have a great day. Prior to the CMR appointment, print off a copy of the patient's medication list, allergies, and disease conditions that are available to you. Using available pharmacy resources, scan the medication list for potential drug-drug interactions, drug-disease interactions, therapeutic duplication, compliance issues, cost-saving opportunities, and any other medication-related problems that jump out to you. Be sure to review pending tips and drug therapy alerts in the outcome system. This will prepare you for the meeting. Finally, be sure to have a CMR worksheet available. Hi, Jim. Thanks for coming in. Sure. The focus of our meeting is to identify all the medications you're taking. We'll talk about possible medication-related issues or cost savings opportunities. After we finish, I'll send you a copy of your updated medication list. Okay, let's talk a bit about your current medical conditions. I've noted them based on the medications I've filled for you, but I'd like to confirm that these are correct and we aren't missing any. Sure, okay. The conditions I've identified are diabetes, asthma, and high blood pressure. Is this correct? Anything that I've left off? I don't think so. But in the past, my doctor has told me my cholesterol is high. Your doctor ever prescribe any treatment? Years back, yes. My doctor gave me a prescription. But my neighbor told me she uses something over the counter. It works, so I've been using that instead. Do you know the name of the product? Yeah. 
fish oil. Okay, I'll note that. Uh, we'll talk about it when we address your over-the-counter medications. Okay. Before we discuss your prescription meds, can you tell me if you have any allergies to medications or foods? No, I don't have any allergies. Well, none that I know of. Any other health issues or concerns? Well, I've started to get a strange tingling in my feet. Do you think this could be related to any of my meds or conditions? It could be a complication of your diabetes called neuropathy. It's something I can discuss with your doctor to see if you might benefit from a medication to help relieve that symptom. Would that be okay with you? Well, sure, that'd be great. I've started a list of all the medications you've filled at our pharmacy. Let's review and confirm that these are still current. Okay. I see that Dr. Nguyen has you on 500 milligrams of metformin for your diabetes. Are you still taking this? Yeah, I've been on that uh, for about five years. And how are you taking it? Twice a day, with my meals. Perfect. Uh, that's what my records show. It can be difficult sometimes to remember when and how to take medications. Many patients miss a dose here and there. During an average week, how many doses would you say you miss? Well, I do pretty well remembering both doses. But uh, sometimes I forget to take my dinner dose. I'd say I miss maybe one dose per week. That's perfectly understandable. And there are various tools to help you stay on track with your therapy. We can talk about this after discussing your other meds. All right, good. Metformin can sometimes upset your stomach. It can also cause some side effects like nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Have you in the past or are you currently experiencing any of these side effects? No, none of those side effects. <laughs> How about your uh, blood sugar readings? How have they been since starting metformin? Well, they've gone down a lot since I started using it. Good. And how often are you testing? Uh, every day. I test uh, every day after lunch. According to my records, the doctor also wanted you to test in the morning before breakfast. This sound correct? Yeah. Um, I, I stopped testing in the morning to cut down on the amount of strips I'm using. That and, well, my sugars after lunch have gone down a lot. So I figured it was okay. Well, it's good that your glucose readings after a meal have gone down. But since you're also using insulin, it's important that you also test in the morning. The reason we have you test on an empty stomach and after a meal is so that we can see how your body is handling sugar, both while at rest and after eating. The goal is that your readings will stay at a fairly even level instead of having wide swings back and forth. Mm, guess I didn't know that. I'll start testing twice a day again, but I will need to get a refill of my strips while I'm here. No problem. We'll take care of that after we're finished. Now, before we move on to your next medication, do you have any questions concerning your metformin? No, I don't believe so. That about covers it. Okay, now that we've been through your prescription medications, did you bring in any over-the-counter meds, vitamins, or supplements? Well, I brought in ibuprofen. I use it sometimes when I get a headache. How often would you say that you use it? Oh, maybe once or twice a week. Is it effective for you? Yeah, but I don't use it all that often because sometimes it upsets my stomach. But it does make my headache go away. All right, I'll uh, add that to your medication list. One thing you may want to try is taking acetaminophen or Tylenol instead. This will be easier on your stomach. It's also a better option due to your high blood pressure. Tylenol won't increase your blood pressure like ibuprofen can. Well, I think we've gone over everything that I'd planned. Any additional questions or concerns that you have today, Jim? I can't think of anything. Great. Well, thanks so much for coming in. I'll finish updating your medication list and send it out to you in follow-up to our appointment today. Like we mentioned, I'll also consult with your doctor about a medication to help with the tingling in your feet and discuss your recent cholesterol levels to see if they're well managed with the fish oil. If there are any changes to your regimen, I'll contact you. Does that sound okay? No, that's fine with me. Thanks for your time. This was really helpful. You're welcome. There are a few things to keep in mind when conducting this appointment that will enhance patient participation. To make the patient feel welcome and comfortable during the interview, be conscious of your body language. Next, try to practice reflective listening. This is a strategy that involves listening to what the patient is saying and then communicating the message back to them in your own words to confirm that you understood their concern. This also allows you to communicate back to the patient what you perceive they are feeling. Another best practice to incorporate 
is using open-ended questions. For example, if you were discussing calcium intake with your patient, instead of asking them, do you take calcium? Ask them, how much calcium do you take? Using open-ended questions will encourage the patient to share information that they may not have otherwise disclosed to you. After the CMR, look over the information gathered and identify any medication-related issues. Also, update the patient's master medication list in their MTM profile, based on any new information or medications the patient might have brought to the appointment. Any problems identified or tips resolved can be billed as additional encounters to the CMR. This would include any prescriber consultations that could result in changes in therapy, patient compliance consultations, or OTC recommendations. In this example, the pharmacist identified a compliance intervention with the patient's metformin therapy. The pharmacist educated the patient on the importance of taking metformin as prescribed. When a prescriber consultation is necessary, an optional prescriber communication fax form is available. It's on the outcome system for use in communicating recommendations you feel are appropriate. Once you and the prescriber have agreed on any medication changes, notify the patient and update the patient's medication list. The MTM profile is a tool that can be used to create a patient-friendly master medication list and medication action plan, or MAP. This list and the MAP should then be either mailed to the patient or picked up at their next visit. We hope this demonstration of a successful comprehensive medication review has given you a better understanding of what should occur when delivering this service. With four out of five adults taking some sort of medication daily and the high cost of non-compliance to the healthcare system, the value of a CMR should be clear. Remember, the CMR should help compile an up-to-date medication list, including over-the-counter meds, which can be shared with the patient and their prescribers. It should also help identify any issues from a compliance, safety, and cost savings perspective that may involve some follow-up with the prescriber. And finally, it will demonstrate the role you as a pharmacist play in promoting the safe and effective use of medications to plan sponsors, prescribers, and most importantly, your patients.